Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Waltz FlexVolt Extractor. All Let's right, get this it. This is the Waltz FlexVolt Dust Extractor. It's brushless. No cord to plug this in, so you got to have a battery. It's got to be a FlexVolt, so don't be trying to put the uh, the 20 volt in there. It's not going to work. All right, the switch. Super simple. On off switch, and it has Bluetooth with it. So to turn it on, with that you're going to hear the filters clean. Cut that off. Not 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 super crazy about the whole knocking noise. Uh, this thing isn't like crazy loud, but it's not. You're gonna go put this in the room with your baby. It's not gonna happen. All right, Bluetooth. You're gonna see when you hit that switch. You're gonna see that little light light up, and that lets you play with this new toy they have, the Dewalt remote. You can wear this as a watch. You can put this on your tool, on the hose, wherever you find a place to put it. It's got a little Velcro strap, so very watch like. Uh, as far as the range goes, this hose is eight feet, give or take, and then this hose is 15 foot, something like that. So let's assume that you're going to be 20 feet or under from your your vacuum. I'm sorry, I said vacuum. I meant dust extractor. So that works. I've had this thing up to like 30 feet, and it was working. So just in case I have a crazy long hose that I'm unaware of. Uh, what else? Let's talk about, let's talk about the hose. My least favorite thing on here. The hose that comes with this, and maybe this thing's going to relax a little bit, but, uh, it's, it's stupor. It's stupor. It's super stiff. It's very stiff. They say crush resistant. Yeah, I could believe it. I, I think I'm, I'm 220 and I think I could probably stand on this, this thing and it not crush. I, I would love for this thing to be a little bit lighter. Or, or, or more flexible. It's it's cold here, so maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's going to loosen up in time. I don't know. Uh, as far as the connection goes, first time I saw one of these things, I'm like it looks complicated, you know, but it's really not. I'm going to show you how it works. So you just shove it in there. Nothing nothing nice about it. Shove it in there. A little quarter inch turn is is all there is to it to lock it in place. Quarter inch back comes off and I'll tell you this none of this stuff is smooth like it's not like this thing just fits like a glove it's kind of uh, I don't want to say rough but it's not what I would call smooth you know what I mean um, but it, it does a job it's fine it's it's DeWalt's version of I don't know if they're trying to compete with Festool or whatever if they are they they kind of failed right there but anyway Get that locked on there. Um, as far as the bulkiness, it doesn't it doesn't bother me with that. Um, it does, as far as when you connect it to your tools, it does keep the bulkiness away from you, so it's not like you're having to deal with it. So, I mean, I guess that part's fine. Um, I have found that this hose is fine for like sanding or using your track saw, something like that. If you're going to be sanding drywall, um, or you got a bigger space that you're walking around sanding. Then I would say probably go with the, the 15 foot hose. The only problem with that, it is not going to wrap all the way around this thing. You're gonna have extra hose laying around. Uh, what else? I did notice that this connection right here, if you pull, if you pull hard enough, I'm gonna do it now. It just, you can see how this thing, let me show you the switch. See how it does that? That's how you release it. So if you press down, it releases. So if you pull hard enough, it basically releases itself. Maybe that's a safety feature of some kind. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, what else? So this right here, I'll give you a ballpark of what this is. The, the price may change. Um, I bought this for a little over $400 on Amazon. It did not come with the battery. It was just the extractor, the remote, and the hose. That's it. It did come with a... Uh, well, filter. Speaking of filters, typically when I take these things, the instructions, I throw the instructions away because we don't need instructions, do we? So I threw it away and then I was trying to figure out how to put the, uh, the filter in and, uh, I don't know. It was just weird. There's, it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't fit like you would assume a filter would fit. But for you watching this that have this the way it fits, you can see how this thing is curved. This little square edge goes up. 
So like this, and and these right here just kind of sit where they sit where they sit. It makes zero sense. Um, it does have a two HEPA filters. I think these are HEPA filters. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, yeah. So reason. So so in case you're wondering, or maybe you don't know what an extractor is. Uh, if you are using, or if you want something that's going to clean your shop or, or clean debris up off the floor or whatever, you don't want that. You're, you're looking at getting something more like this. That is not what this is designed for. This is more for taking the dust from your tool straight to the vacuum. It is not going to be something you're going to be sucking up bulk stuff off your floor. It just doesn't have the suction for that. Um, so hooking up to your saw... That's what this thing is designed for. Um, and I, I'll tell you, the reason I bought this is really I have no plans on hooking it up to my miter saw. No plans hooking up to a sander. I, I would do. I would definitely do this. Um, but really the reason I bought this was I trim houses. And that's my company right there. And we trim anywhere from sometimes 10 to 15 houses a month. And we have a ton of doors that at some point we got to cut them off because they could, they put carpet in. So what I want to do, instead of taking the doors down, taking them to the uh, you know, saw, box and, saw box and cutting them, I want to take the saw and the vacuum to them. And to do that, I needed something that was battery powered. And I'm not dragging that thing around with a long extension cord. So this was my fix to that problem. I'm going to use this with that saw, uh, Festool has a clamp that will hook into that saw that to basically stick it to the door and cut it in place. So that's my plan for this. Now I'm sure at some point I'm gonna hook it up to my miter saw and just check it out, but not right now. Cutting doors is what I'm gonna do with this thing. If you guys got any questions, comments, anything like that, please leave them in the comment section and I will reply back. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I do have a bunch more tools that I'm going to be reviewing. If you got other tools that you would like to uh, know something about, if it's DeWalt, I probably have it. So uh, shoot me a message.